The Boy Who Cried Bigfoot by Scott Magoon This is the story of my friend Ben and how we first met. This is Ben. Ding, ding. Ben liked to tell stories. Look, everyone, it's Bigfoot. He liked to tell stories. Well, I don't see him. A lot. Bigfoot! All that practice made him a pretty good storyteller. And he looked like this, and he sounded like this. Arr! He even used props. What a tenacious little fellow he was. People came from all over town to see Bigfoot. They waited and they waited, but the creature never appeared. He walked right through here, see? After many hours with no sightings, everyone suspected that Ben had made it all up. Bigfoot isn't real. He is real. His feet were this big. He was right here. I saw him. I don't ever remember crossing paths with you, Littlefoot, I said. I didn't normally talk to a Littlefoot, but there was something about this Ben I liked. He was a determined fellow. I also liked his bike. I asked, mind if I take it for a ride? Uh, a Bigfoot? Bigfoot! Bigfoot! Bigfoot is stealing my bike! Coming with? And my dog! Alas, no one believed Ben anymore. No one came running. It seemed Ben found being alone to be a little scary. Ding, ding! Fortunately for Ben, he wasn't alone for long. Ben, where are you? Come home. It's time for dinner. And it was time for me to go home, too. I'm sorry I created such a ruckus, Ben said. But I really did see him, Mom. Oh, Ben, she said. Let's go home. So Ben and his family went home and had a hot meal. I don't know what a hot meal is, but I do know that Ben learned the importance of always telling the truth. And he wanted everyone to know he really had seen me. So the next morning he set out to prove it. What a tenacious fellow he is.